Yesterday, the Virginia SEAL, who says he shot and killed Osama bin Laden, spoke out in a magazine article about his money problems and puts part of the blame on the government. Coming up, we ask a local former SEAL what he thinks about those claims. Doppler Mac a report that came out today in the magazine Esquire appears to paint a bleak picture of what has happened to someone who should be one of the country's most celebrated heroes, the Virginia-based Navy SEAL who killed Osama bin Laden. The story suggests he is now struggling to feed his family. Here to talk about that story and the life after the SEALs is John McGuire. Thank you so much, John, for coming in. Thanks for having me. I, I actually read the story this morning. Well, it, yeah, we tried to find it last night. It wasn't out yet. It's come out today. Now, it appears to... It paints a bleak picture of life after the SEALs, at least for this guy. And, you know, someone who's involved, apparently, in one of the most daring and celebrated missions in history. What's your take on it? You know, I read the story. It's about seven pages. To me, it really doesn't add up. And, you know, I could easily debunk a lot of the uh, story, but it just doesn't add up. And, and this, you were talking a moment ago about it and saying, you know, there are certain details, like, for example, the benefits that are available to you after, after Navy SEALs. Uh, he apparently is not taking advantage of them or is ignoring them or... Or doesn't know, which or, doesn't make sense. Again, you know, I, I, I wasn't there for the interview with the actual SEAL. I'm not so sure they interviewed the right SEAL. But every service member who gets out after serving in Afghanistan or Iraq gets five years of medical coverage from the VA hospital. And, of course, if you read the story, he's left high and dry with no medical coverage. So that, for example, doesn't add up. Well, in the initial reports, the publicity surrounding this, as you can imagine, it's a pretty big, uh, it's got a lot of coverage. Most people, many Americans, we've gotten Facebook comments here saying, wait, how could the government, you know, not take care of its own? And you're basically saying, well, they are. Somehow, this gentleman has not received what he could be receiving, perhaps through his own choice. And you've also talked about starting a business. This guy is saying he's he struggled to to uh, feed his family, but uh, you've also mentioned that uh, many Navy SEALs are able to start their own businesses. And yeah, generally, generally, if you're a Navy SEAL, you're going to be successful. In fact, I just took a photograph, we'll show you in a minute, yesterday, of buddies I served with. We did missions together. Yeah, they and are. Each, oh, and each of guys. Them, yeah, each of these guys here, uh, a little bit bigger than me, huh? Yeah. Each, <laughs> each of these guys here, they run successful businesses around our country. So uh, I think that if you're a Navy SEAL with all the training and a selection and experience, you can certainly get a job. And you uh, obviously run your own business here in, in Richmond. Uh, we've actually seen some of the clips of uh, the VCU basketball team uh, taking, taking their chance, running, running the ropes and running everything else with you. Uh, what, what did it take for you to start your business? I think there's no substitute for hard work. And I, uh, one of the baseball coaches I recently trained, Coach Pride, said, if you work hard, uh, good things happen. So just, uh, you know, just hard work and perseverance. And it works out. Well, and how about the adjustment? Part of this article also talks about the difficult adjustment to civilian life. How hard is it, apart from, say, starting your own business or getting a job, how hard is the adjustment for a SEAL? It's probably similar to what it is for most people in the military, is that right? Well, you know, I would think about all the men and women who serve. I mean, it takes, it's, it takes, it's like a team. It takes everyone to succeed and one person to fail. So, obviously, SEALs, we do our part, and it's very specialized. But from my own experience, it was uh, quite a challenge. I think it took me almost 10 years to be somewhat comfortable in the business world because you're going from jumping out of airplanes and shooting guns and using explosives to essentially a desk job and doing push-ups. It's a big change. Yeah. Well, but, you know, I've surrounded myself with wonderful people and that are very supportive. And it's been almost 15 years in September. Well, John McGuire, former Navy SEAL, thank you, sir, for coming in. Thank you for your service. And uh, hopefully stories like yours will help give a little more perspective to this explosive story in Esquire. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right. Good to see you. Well, here's what we're working on for the news at 11.